Problem 6. Let f be a function defined by f of x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine x for x being less than or equal to 0 and e to the negative 4x for x is greater than 0. Part A. It says show that f is continuous at x equals 0. Well, hopefully you remember the three conditions for continuity. So condition 1, we need to make sure that the point is defined. So I do notice that there is an equal sign here. So we can say that f of 0 is defined and we can actually say what it is. We can say that f of 0 is equal to, if I plug 0 in here, two, sine 0 is 0, times 2 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, right? Then condition 2, so that is met. Condition 2 is that the limit exists, so we would need to find the limit as x approaches 0 from the left, and we'll find the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. Approaching 0 from the left would be plugging 0 into this top function. So we'd have 1 minus 2 sine 0, and we already found that that equaled 1. And then plugging 0 into the second function, we get negative e to the 4 times 0. That would give us e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1. So we got the same thing. So we could just say that the limit as x approaches 0 from the left is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, which is equal to 1. So we showed that the limit exists. And then the third condition for continuity is that f of 0 equals the limit as x approaches 0. And that is true because they both equaled 1. So we just showed that f is continuous. All right, we would have gotten two points for that part of the problem. So if you were able to use all three conditions, you would get two. Probably if you made an error, one error somewhere, you would get one out of two. And if you really were not on the right track, give yourself zero. All right, part B, for x not equal to zero, so we can just get rid of that equal sign because we're not going to let x equal zero. Express f prime of x as a piecewise defined function and then find the value of x for which f prime of x is equal to negative 3. All right, this looks a little scary, but we know how to take a derivative and a piecewise defined function just means we're going to keep it in two parts. So when we take the derivative, not scary at all, we'll just take the derivative of the top part. So we'll have 1 minus 2 cosine, whoops, nope, we'll just have negative 2 cosine x and we'll put x is less than 0 because it said x can't equal 0. And then my other part, the derivative of e to the negative 4x, will be negative 4 e to the negative 4x, and that would be 4x greater than 0. So that is a piecewise defined function for f prime. That would have been worth two points. We've got one point for the top one and one point for the bottom one. And then it says find the value of x for which the derivative is equal to negative 3. Well, we have two derivatives, so we're going to have to test each of them to see if we can get an answer of negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and take my first one. So I'll take negative 2 cosine x equal to negative 3. And then my other one over here, I'd have negative 4 e to the negative 4x is equal to negative 3. So I'm going to solve both of these for x. Okay, so I have cosine x equals 3 halves, um, which cosine x equals 1.5. When you're taking the cosine of something, you cannot get a value bigger than 1. So that just can't work. We will not find the next value. All right, on this one, I'm going to divide by negative 4. So I'll get e to the negative 4x is equal to 3 fourths. Um, hopefully you remember that we'll take the natural logable sides. So I'll just end up getting negative 4x ln e is equal to ln of 3 fourths. ln e, of course, cancels out. So we're going to get negative 4x equals ln of 3 fourths. And then we'll just divide both sides by negative 4. So x will equal ln of 3 fourths divided by negative 4 fourths. So I found the value of x. That was worth only one point. All that worked just for one point. So you either got it or you didn't. All right, part C, find the average value of f on the interval negative 1 to 1. Well, I like this one because I like finding average values. We're going to do 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of that function. So on this one, we'll do 1 over 1 minus negative 1 times the integral from negative 1 to 1 of f, okay? The only problem is we can't go from negative 1 to 1 because the function splits. How do you know which one to use? So we're actually going to split it in two parts because we have a problem at 0. So this one, we're going to get 1 half. And then to get the integral, we're going to start at negative 1, but then we're going to stop at 0. So the first function that I get to use is 1 minus 2 sine x. And then we'll add 
starting at 0 and going to 1, and then it switches over to the other function. So that's what we're going to be finding the integral of. So I'm going to have 1 half. <clears throat> Since there's a minus sign here, I can actually take the integral of both parts separately. And then we've still got this going on. All right, for this one, the integral of 1 is x. And then minus the integral of 2 sine x is positive 2 cosine x. And then on this one, let's do a u substitution since there's just one e in the problem. u will equal negative 4x. du will equal negative 4. I'm missing a negative 4 on the inside. So I get to put a negative 1 fourth on the outside. So this leads me to a negative 1 fourth integral of e to the u. And I know that the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. So um, continuing my work up here, I have 1 half x plus 2 cosine x minus 1 fourth e to the negative 4x. I still have to evaluate it at, oh, no, I do not. Sorry about that. We have to do each of these separately. So this one goes separately, and this one goes separately. Sorry about that. So we're going to have, I'm going to save this one half to the end. All right, x plus 2 cosine x. I need to evaluate this one at negative 1 and 0. So I'll get 0 plus 2 cosine 0 minus negative 1 plus 2 cosine negative 1. All right, and if I simplify that, the cosine of 0 is 1. So I'll end up getting 2. That will distribute to both parts. So I'll get plus 1 and then plus 2 cosine of negative 1. We don't know what cosine of negative 1 is, and we're not allowed to use our calculator, so we'll just leave it like that. So this part will give me 3 plus 2 cosine negative 1. Okay, now we have that other part. Now I'm going to come up here and do the other part. We have negative 1 fourth e to the negative 4x, and I get to evaluate this one from 0 to 1. Okay, so if I plug 1 in, I'll get negative 1 fourth e to the negative 1, and then minus negative 1 fourth e to the 0. So this will end up giving me, I'm going to move my e to the bottom, that's going to give me negative 1 over 4e, and then minus a negative will give me a plus 1 fourth e to the 0 is just 1. So that will be that part. So adding those two parts together, I will have 3 uh-oh, I was supposed to get, oh, this should be, I'm just going to backtrack here a second. I had plus here, and I know I should have a minus here. I'm just trying to decide why, oh, no, oh, yes, this minus distributed. Okay, I knew there was something funny I did. Okay, so we're going to have three minus. 2 cosine negative 1, and then minus 1 over 4e plus 1 fourth. You could leave this e to the negative 1. That would not be a big deal. So this is my answer for that part. All right, this was worth four whopping parts. All right, if somewhere on your paper you wrote this integral expression, that was worth a point. Oh, guess what I did not do on this one? I did not multiply by 1 half. Shame on me. So we are going to multiply by 1 half. One half. There we go. Okay, so one point for that. We got one point for having this integral somewhere on our paper. We got, um, actually, we just got one point for having both of those. Okay, so one point for both of those. Sorry about that. Okay, and then we get one point for correctly getting the antiderivative. So if you got x plus 2 cosine x, give yourself a point. If you got negative 1 fourth e to the negative 4x, give yourself a point. And then if you correctly got this final answer, give yourself a final point. So this whole part was worth plus four. So hopefully you were able to follow that. So um, please make sure you give yourself a score out of nine and circle it on your paper.